Evening, Sebring used to seeing and hearing trains run through town. We get agitated when the crossings come down and hold us up. Well, it can also affect emergency crews responding to a call. It's something that they've dealt with for decades. Over the weekend, it held up a Sebring fire responding to a house fire. Now, the firefighters were called to this home in the 400 block of West New York Avenue around 10 Saturday night. But before they could get there, they were stuck by a train. First News reporter Jacob Thompson explains how this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. Late Saturday night, this house on New York Avenue was engulfed in flames. While fire crews were on the way, they were stopped by a train making its way through town. It took us 13 minutes to get from here to the house that was on fire. Damascus Fire Department got there first for mutual aid. As you can see from this map, it shows you where the fire station is and where the house was. The black line running down the middle is the train tracks. So something that would have taken a two minute drive took much longer. The fire already had its flash over and the load had happened. So the, the time counted, but it wasn't near as bad as, you know, if it was just progressing. But this isn't the first time Sebring Fire Department had to deal with the train coming through. Earlier that evening, a train was stopped on the tracks when they got a call for a gas leak. So we had to divert and go to Alliance to get around the train to get to the gas leak call that we had. It took them about 14 minutes to get there, compared to the seven minutes if it was a straight shot. Chief Mike Springer has been with the department for 16 years. He told me there have been conversations with the train company, but that's as far as they went. So until then, firefighters will have to reroute when a train comes through. Is a train going from east to west, you know, or west to east? Do we need to go the other way to get around it or call mutual aid? Chief Springer also told me they have a station on the south end of town where the fatal fire happened. And he has three firefighters who live on that end. But that night, they were on the wrong side of the tracks. One was out of town and the other two were on this side of town. So when the call came in, everybody was on this side of the tracks. As of now, the fire is still under investigation. In Sebring, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.